because Lin Biao was one of the most influential figures in promoting Chairman Mao Zedong's personality cult during the Cultural Revolution, he began to be criticized within the party for its excesses in late 1970. After 1970, some factions within the army, and those led by Zhou Enlai and Jiang Qing, began to distance themselves from Lin. In order to limit Lin's growing power, Mao approved. Zhu's efforts to rehabilitate officials who had been purged during the early stages of the Cultural Revolution, and supported Zhou's efforts to improve China's relationship with the United States. A serious rift developed between Mao and Lin. Mao was displeased with comments that Lin had made about his wife, Jiang Qing, at the Lushan Conference. Generals loyal to Lin refused to accept Mao's criticism of them and Mao began to question whether Lin continued to follow him unconditionally. Mao wanted Lin to make a self-criticism, but Lin stayed away from Beijing and resisted doing so. Lin's wife Yi Chun made a self-criticism, but it was rejected by Mao as he thought it wasn't sincere. Zhou Enlai attempted to mediate between Mao and Lin, but by 1971 Lin had become very reclusive and, withdrawn, and difficult to talk with at any level, so the mediation failed. In July 1971 Mao decided to remove Lin and his supporters, Zhou again attempted to moderate Mao's resolution to act against Lin, but failed. Lin died when an aircraft carrying him and several members of his family crashed in Mongolia at 3 a.m. on Monday, September 13, 1971, reportedly after attempting to assassinate Mao, and defect to the Soviet Union. Following Lin's death, there has been widespread skepticism in the West concerning the official Chinese explanation, but forensic investigation conducted by the USSR, which recovered the bodies after the crash, has confirmed that Lin and his wife were among those who died in the crash. According to the Chinese government, Lin Biao was made aware that Mao no longer trusted him after the Ninth Central Committee, and Lin harbored a strong desire to seize power. In February 1971, Lin and his wife, Yi Chun began to plot Mao's assassination. In March, Lin's son, Lin Ligo, a senior Air Force officer held a secret meeting with his closest followers at an Air Force base in Shanghai. At this meeting, Lin Ligo and his subordinates supposedly drafted a plan to organize a coup, titled Project 571. In Chinese, 571 is a homophone for armed uprising. Later that month, the group met again to formalize the structure of command following the coup. Mao was unaware of the plot, and in August 1971, scheduled a conference for September to determine the political fate of Lin Biao. On August 15, Mao left Beijing to discuss the issue with other senior political and military leaders in southern China. On September 5, Lin had been warned that Mao was preparing to remove him, so on September 8, Lin gave the order to his subordinates to proceed with the coup. Lin's subordinates planned to assassinate Mao by sabotaging his train before he returned to Beijing, but Mao unexpectedly changed his route on September 11. Mao's bodyguards foiled several subsequent attempts on Mao's life, and Mao safely returned to Beijing in the evening of Sunday, September 12. Lin's coup attempt had completely failed. Realizing that Mao was now fully aware of his abortive coup, Lin's party first considered fleeing south to their base of power in Guangzhou, where they intended to establish an alternate party headquarters and attack armed forces loyal to Mao. After hearing that Premier Zhou Enlai was investigating the incident, they abandoned this plan and decided to flee to the Soviet Union instead. In the early morning of September 13, Lin Biao, Yi Chun, Lin Ligo, and several personal aides attempted to flee to the Soviet Union and boarded the prearranged Trident 1E, piloted by Pan Jingyin, the deputy commander of their People's Liberatoon Army Air Force 34th Division. The aircraft didn't have enough fuel before taking off, and crashed near Omdor Khan in Mongolia that same day. Everyone on board, eight men and one woman, were killed in the 